My Lord's happy Earth Day, and well done to the noble Lord, Lord Tevison, for getting this debate. Um, we've seen in the past year that we have passed legislation at the most incredible rate, um, at, at, at a rate that uh, uh, a year ago we would have said it was impossible, unconstitutional, or just plain ridiculous. So Parliament has shown, and the government has shown, that they can act fast in an emergency. And the COVID example has been an interesting case study because it just shows how fast we can move. And of course, we have declared a climate emergency and it's self-evident that an ecological and biodiverse diversity emergency is ravaging the world. So we have to act on that as well. This Queen's speech, I believe, is the fourth time that the Queen will have read out that we're going to have an environment bill. And for me, that shows the lack of urgency in the government's response to this. And I think that's a real problem. Um, when we compare it with the speed, volume and sheer intrusiveness of the dozens of pieces of COVID legislation that's passed in the last year, it really reaches a point of embarrassment. However, I know that the noble Lord, the minister, understands the problem as well as I do and possibly better. So I'd like to know for how much longer will the government let the emergency roll on before they finally respond? Because targets are great, and I welcome better targets, higher targets, but they don't happen without a plan. It's not enough to talk, we must act. Um, so the Des Gupta Review and the Climate Change Committee Six Carbon Budget have given us a pathway to doing exactly that to create a biodiversity emergency and a climate emergency and to how to act on it and how to try to reduce our impact on the natural world. Plus, of course, there's a climate and ecological emergency bill, uh, which was introduced by Caroline Lucas MP in the other place last year, and that offers the UK an unparalleled opportunity to provide much needed global le leadership. And so I very much hope that the government will take those options and actually make life better for, for all of us.